the Jim Crack is next, and they another two year old race, group two this time, six furlongs intergenerational for Joshua Sutherland, Roddy for James Shea, Fukang Wonders for Vinnie Gerard, Triple Anzio for David Rawson, Boost for Rod McHugh, a late season debutant, champion for good Jim Murray, Mile High Daniel French, and Mustafa for Rod McHugh. So I don't know what rare Rod McHugh's get boost all season. Well, he's around, he's around now, and away we go. And Boost is keen to get on with it as well after spending all season in his stable. He's now uh, pulling for his head, refusing to settle. But it's Champion for Good, who's the early leader. From right over on the far round mile high, then intergenerational, that noseband for Chuck's for Southern. He started using that noseband in the last two or three seasons. There's a lot of people shied away from it in the league for a long time, but he seems to have some decent horses with those nosebands. And it's nice to see something a little bit different. But anyway, Champion for Good is the leader as they race down towards the final three furlongs with in second place Mustafa then comes Fukang Wanderers and Mile High Intergenerational is after that boost is going exceptionally well I wonder if Rod McClure forgot he got it but anyway it's champion good in the lead they've got two furlongs left to go boost and Mustafa second and third then Mile High Fukang Wanderers is after that one Intergenerational is just the back marker they're racing down towards the final furlong and champion for goods in the lead from Mustafa and boost and then Fukang Wanderers Mile High Triple Anzio, Roddy, they're all really bunching up now as they come into the final half furlong. It's Fukang Wanderers from Booster on the inside. Triple Anzio, Fukang Wanderers and Triple Anzio. And that's another close one. Another close one. Goodness me. And some close finishes today. That's another one that could easily be a dead heat. Triple Anzio flying at the end. And it is a dead heat this time. Triple Anzio for David Robson. That's his second dead heat today. Uh, well, one of them could have been on the jump, so, so anyway, it's definitely a second dead heat. Triple Anzio for David Robson, the food gang wanders for Vinnie Gerard, the other one. So those two sharing their spoils. Mile high for Daniel French was third, intergenerational for Joshua Southern was fourth, and Roddy for James Shea was fifth. And that interesting thing there, boost. Rod McClure, tell us in the forums, why, why haven't you run that all season? <laughs> 